Hello, I'm Jim Austin, and welcome to Anglers Paradise, home of the professional weekend anglers. Today, I'm in the beautiful city of Epperton, Georgia, fishing the legendary Russell Lake. Now, Russell can be a great lake, and sometimes can be kind of tough. We practiced yesterday, had a great practice. Today, we fished another area of the lake, didn't do well at all, but tomorrow, we're gonna catch him. Me and my partner, Big Row, we're gonna tamp tomorrow, so don't you go nowhere. Stay with us, right here on Anglers Paradise home of the professional weekend anglers. How about that? Any good cafe? That's what we have right here. Any good cafe? It's a good hamburger, good fish, good everything. I'm gonna turn over to the tournament director. He's gonna tell you the rules, and then Jerome is gonna come in, because he's gonna do a side pot cow cut. If you believe in yourself, you bid on yourself. P.Y.T. Oh, Tim, turn to the side. Is that a stomach? <laughs> is that a snack? It's an inside of wealth in my country. That's probably what they do in Atlanta with that. In yeah, my country, it's a sign of high cholesterol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a heart attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, when you pull up in the morning, have your live wells opened up, be ready to go and plug your butt in the water, and you're going to get a rib. If you go by the leak and your live wells ain't been checked, your weight ain't going to count. Five fish limit, 12 inches. Lots of large mouths and everything. Okay. Be careful going up the river above cold water, several things floating down the river. We're going to make sure we can see all the points before I blast everybody off. I'm Roosevelt Israel Vines Jr., better known as Big Row, also known as the Hog Catcher. Got him. I've been fishing since I was three years old. I actually caught my first bass when I was three. This is called the Alabama. Sir, now we got him. He was out, he was out in the open water. He wasn't up on the bank. I was just shaking him in that open water. He came in the middle. My dad was a member of East Atlanta Bass Angle. Uh, that's how I got to know um, Mr. Jimmy Lee Austin. I came up under him and my dad learning how to fish. Curling up, yeah. And then came a long way. Going to another bridge. Well, my favorite lure now to fish is the wacky worm. When I found out about the wacky worm, I found out from Mr. Jimmy, Jimmy Lee Austin. He taught me how to fish the wacky worm, and I haven't put it down since. Can you see? We had a great day today. Fishing was tough when we first got started, but my partner and I, Roosevelt Vines, we had already practiced on Thursday, so we knew where the fish would possibly be. However, when we got there this morning, it was very slow. Matter of fact, we didn't catch our first fish till around about 10 or 10.30, and we caught it on the uh, free load. Free load's not really my number one bait. That's not something I use all the time, but the fish was out deep, so I had no other choice but to go out and try to catch one. So we did catch one. But around about, what was the, the fish start out? About, about one o'clock. Around about one o'clock. We stuck with our pattern that we already established on Thursday. And, and, and I would encourage anybody, if you establish a good pattern, a special one that's over in the afternoon, don't leave when you first get there early in the morning, like you're fishing a turn or something. Get the fish not biting. Just wait on them. They're there, and they're going to come back and they're going to feed. So around one o'clock, the fish start biting. We start hitting them on the wacky worms, and uh, we find a wind up catching them on shaky heads. The wacky one was the number one bait. So if you're fishing one a month, I still encourage you to stick with the wacky one. It's the 3rd of February, and uh, it was cold morning, but the fish still hit the wacky one. Right? What do you think we could have done a you know, different one? To do it to? Well, we learned from previous tournaments that when we go away from our plan, that it don't usually work out for us. So with us sticking with our plan, what we was going to do, 
uh, we came up with some fish. Hopefully, it's enough to get a check. Hopefully, it's enough to win. We don't know yet. Still set a Carolina rig hook. I can see this now. It was a Carolina rig. 9.4. Oh, he just knocked somebody out of a check. Five fish, five alive. Five fish, five alive. I got a first place. 13.15. 13.15. A lot of feelings got hurt again. And they are favorites on this lake, ladies and gentlemen. They got some hog malls in there. Oh, my goodness. I will look like three of mine. Oh my goodness. Damn, we need some more fish. 5.60, 5.60. Right now, that's big fish. 8.80. Oh, come on, Don't worry. I need oh, my my goodness. <laughs> Salt and pepper are in the building. 14.20. Fifteen point one zero. Fifteen point one zero. Dave and Mike, aka Chicken Man. They must be using chicken livers, y'all. What the moment o'clock? Fifteen point nine zero. Fifteen point nine. And they high fiving. The end. Put Jim Austin in me at the end. Uh oh. I'm about to be broke today, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five fish, five alive. Five fish, five alive. I tell you what, Jim, that sponsorship has been helping you. Just for men, got you fishing better now. Got you looking young, smelling young. Just for men, get me some tomorrow. Dye my beard back black. Just give me, a, just give me my hundred dollars. I gotta give you a hundred, Don a hundred, Charles a hundred. I'm about to be broke. 11.95, I got a chance, ladies and gentlemen. 11.95, I might have a chance. Welcome back to Anglers Paradise, home of the professional weekend anglers. As I said this morning, we were on the Lake Russell, which is a tough lake, but it wasn't too tough for two of our winners. We're talking about Dave Rosenberg, and we're talking about Mike Blaylock, better known as the Chicken Man. They was able to figure out the river, and they won it. But let me talk about Dave for a few minutes. Prior to this term, you had some illness, didn't you, Dave? Yes, I did. Kind of listen to what you've gone through. I had a triple bypass in September and um, on rehab now and starting to get stronger. And um, God is good, God is good. He got me through it. Absolutely. This Absolutely. is my first tournament, first time on the boat since then. Absolutely, well, I'll tell you, you did a wonderful job. They Thank are you. the winner. Not only did they win $4,000 for the tournament today, they also won the cow cutter, which was $3,995. Give us a little bit of information what you guys did in order to catch the fish to win the tournament. Well, we threw a drop shot today in the shaky head. Uh, we used a tactical tungsten drop shot weight and uh, on both of them actually. Uh, just throwing out and reeling them in. What, what part of the lake were you guys fishing? We were in the Pickens Creek area fishing points, out, right out from Pickens Creek on the main lake fishing points and mainly like we'd find the drops on the side of the points mm -hmm. and the fish were just pulling up and staging, getting ready for warmer weather. Well, you're either sitting with your forward facing sonar or, or you're down. We actually are at 11 o'clock, our cranking battery died, so we lost all sonar. Mm -hmm. We uh, we had to, it took us about an hour and a half and we ran into some other people that were fishing the tournament mm -hmm. and they gave us some wrenches to swap our batteries out. Mm -hmm. So we had to change the trolling motor from 36 volt to 24 and move that battery over to the cranking battery. So we lost an hour and a half fishing time. Well, if not asking too much, what type of bait were you guys using? It was mostly Yamamoto. Uh -huh. uh, just like uh, we had the cut tail worm and uh, Senkos. Well, man, y'all did a fantastic job. Congratulations on your win. Thank you, sir. Thanks, we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. I appreciate what you do and what Angler's Paradise does. Well, we certainly appreciate you guys. Thank you. Well, that's it. I wasn't able to get a check, but I'm certainly proud of you two guys because they were. So stay with us right here on Angler's Paradise, home of the professional weekend anglers, and I'll see you on the water.